The following content is provided under a Creative Commons license. Your support will help MIT OpenCourseWare continue to offer high-quality educational resources for free. To make a donation or to view additional materials from hundreds of MIT courses, visit MIT OpenCourseWare at ocw.mit.edu. Good evening, everybody. I'd like to welcome you to MIT. My name is Mark Harvey, and I'm uh, teaching here in the music program. And this semester, we have a course called Musical Improvisation. And thanks to our music section, as well as the Alumni Class Funds program, we're able to bring in some distinguished improvisers. Uh, we've had two of these, a series of four. We've had two of these. We have tonight, and then we have one more in early May. Uh, let me just say a couple of words about our visitors this evening. We have Neil Leonard, uh, who's been a longtime friend, and Robin Eubanks over here. Uh, Neil came to our class on Monday. We had a great time, and uh, so uh, this is a furthering and enrichment of what we're studying, and now it's a chance for all of you to engage in this. So you can see by their bios, they're very distinguished world travelers, master improvisers. So without further ado, Neil Leonard, Robin Eubanks. in Washington, D.C. a couple years ago, and I did a piece with a couple of my students that involved data that was collected from the sun. And so we made a piece of music out of celestial data. That's the first piece called um, Nocturnal Remix. The second piece is a piece which I created at the invitation of an art collector in Italy, Yanni Bolongaro who asked me if I would record the sounds of a sculpture named, uh, by an artist named um, Janice Cornelis. And I began a piece which went through several renditions, and what you'll hear is the sounds recorded in his sculpture park, um, an Italian vocalist from Mount Vesuvius in, in Naples. Um, and the third piece is an improvisation on a song that you probably recognize.
Actually, I grew up playing in a lot of funk and rock bands, and the first jazz band I ever played in was with uh, Neil in Philadelphia. And, uh, so it's it's great to see how how he's you know developed, and we found out he's teaching up here at Berkeley, and uh, we're both teaching. I, I teach at Oberlin Conservatory, and uh, it's, it's, I was just really happy that he invited me to come do this because I don't get to do it too often. There's still a relatively few uh, horn players that are using all these electronics and things, and I don't get to do it too often. So I, I just came off of a tour, a month-long tour last night or the day before, maybe I forget now, <laughs> and actually played here the, at the Berkeley Performance Center a month ago. And uh, I got in yesterday and I was up all night trying to the manuals to find out. Remember how you work this stuff? <laughs> because uh, basically what I'm saying is I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and it's just, but, but it's fun for me because you kind of fly by the seat of your pants with no net and sometimes you fall and it's cool. You just get up and try to make, make it so you don't notice when I fall. <laughs> but I'm just going to try some stuff and um, see what happens and hope you enjoy it. Thank you.
Thank mm-hmm. you. 